welcome to Pins and Things. Today we're going to be making this Elsa or Tangled yarn wig. Okay, so what you're going to need is one of these big things of yarn, and I just got this at Walmart. This is a white woman do-rag. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a cap to put over your hair, and it will need to be tightened, but we'll do that. And then some white thread and a sewing machine basic sewing utensils so i got this hair cap at sally's beauty supply for like five dollars it's only because snow hats are out of season right now and otherwise i would have just gotten like a snow hat this color from the dollar store that's all you need it just you just need something that can easily go over your head and hold its shape pretty well so if your hat is not perfectly formed to your head in the way that you want the wig to lay put it on my head inside out put pins on it pinched it together Together, put the pins in, in just in the shape that I needed it. So over this line, just try to form fit it to your head. So after trimming it, I can just flip it back inside out and then try it on. And it's much better closer to my head and that's what I want. I measured my hair, or the hair on, on Elsa and how long it needs to be. And also on Tangled, and this is the difference here. If you want it to be a Tangled wig, you need to make it longer. But if you, if you want to make it just a frozen wig, then 36 inches is about what I came up with for the length. And now um, I just measured my table and it's about that. So I'm going to just take my yarn and loop it through and over here until the whole thing is gone. You want it to be taut but not tight because the tighter it is, the more you're stretching it out and then it will shrink a little bit when you're putting it on the wig. So right now I'm measuring from ear to ear and on me, and I want it to go right along my hairline, and on me it is 12 inches. Here's my cap. I want a little bit of hair to go on apart. So I'm just gonna draw, this will be covered so that will be okay. And then I'm gonna take my 12 inches and put it right here. Now, if you want it to be a side part for Tangled, put it on the side from your 12 inches. So it's going to be on like a third of your 12 inches. And then if you want it to be in the middle, that's fine too. Just put it on the six. And we're just going to sew a line all along this section right here too. So I'm just going to snip this edge right here. Just the one side is all I want to snip. And now... Without moving it, I'm just going to take this end, and so I know exactly where the middle is, just like that. And I'm going to set it over the top of something to be able to keep it where it needs to be. And now I'm just going to take little sections of it, remember where the middle is, so here's the middle, and start sewing little sections of it onto the yellow part that I've marked on the head cap. I'm just spreading it out, kind of holding it down with my fingers as I go. And I'm going to do a zigzag stitch on this. And just go slow, pull it straight as you go, and the closer to the edge of your cap, the better it will look. And now I'm just doing the exact same thing again, finding the middle and pinching it there, and then bringing it down to my yellow part that I've just traced on, and spreading out yarn so that it's just going to look like it's hair. And then pulling it over and stitching it on. Now that I've done the whole 12 inches that are from ear to ear, I'm putting my part on the side. I'm going to now take another strand and sew it down the part in this yellow line right here. Keeping kind of where the middle is on the yarn so it's going to be equal lengths on both sides. And just kind of stretching it out and smoothing it out as I go. And then I'm just going to go over this just like this. Kind of hold it in place as you go. Make sure it's covering all the material underneath. So at this point, it is sewn on to the 12 inches in the front, and then it has a little line coming out that's probably about yeah, 6 inches, I'm guessing. And then I'm going to sew the last little bit that I have into a little T right here. So I'm just going to make a small T, and that will be all of the hair that we're going to add on. So once again, I've got the hair folded completely in half, and I'm going to sew right in the middle of it, and I'm just going to sew a little line of hair to complete this. And I I want it to meet up right with the end of this line, so that's what I'm going for right here. 
So I have my lovely assistant, my husband. <laughs> Clip to that from our other yarn wig video. <laughs> So what I've done now is I've just kind of taken, this is like a wide tooth comb, I've just taken it and kind of straightened it out. I'm not trying to like dig into it or sort of like split the yarn at all, I'm just kind of straightening it. What this is doing is just putting it in place for where I'm going to glue it down. And I have my hot glue but there's lots of stuff between him and the hot glue so don't worry guys, it's okay. Here's my hot glue and I'm just going to put a strand, one little strip. Oh. Yeah, right. Don't even pretend. <laughs> and I'm just kind of splitting it just like that and pulling it down. So that's just going to kind of tack it in place and make sure it stays where I want it to stay. And I'm just going to do that one more time down here below that. Just taking my time. This is only going to help it, so I want it to look good. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing, but with this section of hair. Just kind of straighten it out with my comb and tack it into place up high. One section at a time. Ideally, this would probably be best with a little foam head or something so your husband doesn't die. <laughs> Same thing on this side, and I want it to kind of, I'm trying to cover the entire head, like I don't want this showing through underneath, so I'm really just kind of brushing it to make it look like it's not going to show through, and then I'm lifting it up carefully and gluing it. So I have just put a little bit of elastic on the inside, I measured my head and just held it on there to see how tight it would be. I didn't want it to be too tight. Somebody's and I sewed that uh, onto here in just a few little places. So just so that this wouldn't be too baggy underneath. And now I'm just going to put it on and I have my amazing sister who did this. Ta-da! Who is also going to help me style the wig. So I went ahead and put the wig on my head. And then I also put my hair underneath the wig, made sure none of it was showing through. And then we left out a few strands in the front to be cut short for bangs and French braided the rest to make it look real good. So after we trim these bangs, we're going to take the strings from, from underneath them and tie them around here so it just matches in with the hair. You can also trim them so it doesn't look like it has anything other than just a string holding it. Really this part is just about styling it and making sure that it looks good. So trimming where you want the bangs to hang down and then just styling it how you want it. Thanks for watching Pins and Things. I hope you liked this tutorial. Make sure to take a lot of time to style it and make it look exactly like you want it. You can use this for Game of Thrones. This wig style, you can use this wig style for Tangled or for Frozen, so it's very versatile. Make sure to thumbs up this video and comment if you like it. And we're still making tons of videos. We'll have some up for Thanksgiving now. And also, just check out all of our other Halloween videos. Check out our Facebook page. Go and like it, thumbs it up, and you can see updates on there too. So we'll see you guys next time. Bang, 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 Never bothered me anyway.